So in this video, I'm going to talk about what does the COE starter kit contains. So when you download the zip file uh, from the Microsoft site, you will be uh, presented with uh, uh, multiple zip files within the solution uh, zip file. And uh, those zip files will contain uh, solution components. Like uh, the first one, which I'm going to talk about is about the core components. So this is one of the main components within the, uh, the zip file. So uh, this contains a lot of apps, reports, and flows, <coughs> uh, which will uh, guide through the starting process of setting up a center of excellence starter kit. Uh, there is an innovation backlog component. There's nurture components. So nurture components has nurture component related apps. There's a video app. Uh, there is a video admin hub. Uh, then there is an innovation backlog app for innovation backlog solutions. Uh, then there is an audit components, ALM accelerator. So ALM accelerator is mainly for uh, application lifecycle management. Uh, and it has like an admin app and an, a maker app. Admin task analysis score is mainly uh, um, a solution file, which uh, allow you to uh, see the uh, Power BI report, uh, uh, which will help you analyze what are the different admin tasks can be done by uh, Power Platform Administrator. Now, uh, as you see over here, uh, there are like one, two, three, four, five reports. So out of that, uh, the main reports are the governance dashboard and the production COE dashboard. So these reports will surface out the inventory information about your entire environment. Okay. Uh, Power Platform Administration Planning is all about uh, setting up a planning mechanism within your Power Platform environment. It will help you understand uh, how many tasks exist within a Power Platform <coughs> uh, administration purview. Uh, and then you can import those tasks using uh, supported Excel files, like a sample task data. Uh, so, uh, in a nutshell, the COE starter kit contains uh, uh, managed uh, solution files. Uh, it contains Power BI reports. It contains some supporting uh, input data in Excel. It contains a JSON file, uh, and it contains a tool icons or zip file, which will uh, help you to uh, import the icons for a Canvas app uh, embedded within the solution. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in my next video.